Uh, yes, they have a long and interesting history together. Uh, so astronomy and astrology, if not the same thing, were certainly closely related, very closely related. And it's well known that some of the famous Renaissance astronomers, like Johannes Kepler, for example, cast horoscopes. And so they acted as astrologers and astronomers. So astrology is the idea that the celestial objects, especially the planets, the sun and the moon, uh, have an effect on human affairs on, and on personality perhaps and, and on how you, things behave and on our outcomes as human beings. Uh, and there's no scientific basis for that. But in an early age, a pre-scientific age, it's natural to think that astronomical objects might have an effect on humans. The sun obviously does and at some level the moon does. And so it was extended to the planets as these special objects in the sky, the wanderers. The Greek word for planet is wanderer. So astrology had a natural sort of folk tethering in populations in a pre-scientific age. And astronomy, of course, developed slowly over time. It took a couple of hundred years to truly understand the nature of the planets. So the separation of astrology and astronomy did not happen overnight, and it, and it took a while after the Renaissance until Newton's theory and then beyond. So they are now separate, and in the modern world, no astronomer gives astrology credence as a scientific theory. The words are often confused by the general public because the number of letters different is very small, but they really are not the same thing at all.